Fall of Football blog, everyone coming to you from SEC country, Texas A&M. We're here at the George Bush Library to start the day off. You do have to purchase tickets, but it's right at the edge of the Texas A&M campus, which we're gonna walk around and enjoy before all pregame activities. Highly recommend the George W. Bush Library. It's only $15, um, and there's a lot of great stuff in here. Before you get to the nice lake outside the museum is a great statue of the 41st president George Bush. Believe it or not, if you'd like, you can catch fish in the man-made lake here, right at the edge of the Texas A&M campus, and probably the nicest part of campus here. Very cool thing. Don't You don't need any kind of licenses in Texas to fish, but since this is a university, the rules are different. So I would research what the rules are outside this channel before you start fishing in the pond here. Very cool walk. There's also a gorgeous walk just outside the campus too, back to the gravesite of George, Barbara, and Robin Bush. It's just down this path. It's really hot, amazing kind of oasis on a campus that's mostly open fields but definitely not every day you get to see the gravesite of a former president and first lady and it's really well done here's a couple pictures for you after it's always free as long as this gate's open now here at texas a&m because it's on a college campus in a very small town when 110,000 people come to town the tailgating here is not concentrated in one area this is the rv lot so it's a little bit of an outlier but it's spread throughout all the campus. Some of the lots where you'll see tailgates going are as far as a mile and a half away. The campus does permit alcohol everywhere on site, except for when signs disallow. So that is convenient. And you can pretty much tailgate anywhere with a numbered lot. And the last thing is, if you're worried about a mile and a half away, the shuttle system here is free and it's actually very well reviewed for how it works. Not a big deal in November, and uh, end of, not a very big deal in November, but keep in mind in September, the sweltering heat and humidity might be bad for some sensitivity. <laughs> Overview of the newly renovated part of Kyle Field. Seats 110,000 is one of the most prolific football stadiums in the U.S., college or pro. Standing here on the back side of Kyle Field where a lot of fans walk to from the right and the left, we have the big midway. There's alcoholic drinks, TV filming for whenever game day or SEC Nation are in town, plenty of food trucks with great local food, plenty of games for kids, and a live stage and DJ that keeps the energy going and just outside of Kyle Field. You'll also know on game days there are several helicopter flyovers as it's a great way for the school to show off its military heritage. This midway, the, the food is decently priced. The drinks with local Texas craft beers, including 12th Man Lager, reasonably priced. If you can't set up a tailgate, but would like Texas A&M to tailgate for you, this is a great fit. There's even free samples of things like Dos Equis and Spike Seltzer. Great time here. That opens up about four hours before kickoff, every time. Here is the kids' yell practice. 
also the yellow practice for adults. You can't come on Fridays. One thing to know about Texas A&M is it's known as one of the friendliest universities in the, in the nation. This customary howdy that we say in Texas is taken to a next level here. So anyone you make eye contact with, the tradition is to say howdy. When anyone says howdy back to you, you also say howdy to kind of keep the friendliness level on the same thing. <laughs> Now luckily, since Cairo Field is essentially brand new, unlike most college football stadiums, you have ample escalators and ADA facilities to get around and about um, in an easier fashion. Now keep in mind, Kyle Field is known as the Super Stadium. The stadium when it was renovated, the whole goal was to make it quite simple, not just the finest football stadium in college, but to make it the finest football stadium among all U.S. Well, they went for that goal, and you tell me, Big recommendation is Fletcher's Corn Dogs, something that is usually only privilege for the Texas State Fair they have here right at Kyle Field. I highly recommend if you want to get here early and get a Fletcher's Corn Dog, you do so by taking advantage of the concessions here at Kyle Field. It's a very hard to get delicacy here in Texas. controlled somewhat area and the Dos Equis cool zone. There is climate control here in the shade and you also have great views of the game. The whole stadium, keep in mind, is really nice, but this is a brand new section of a 300 and some odd million renovation with great cell signals, other games, and everything you need. And again, I will also reiterate, the Doseki's cool zone is inside and completely climate controlled. People here from the south will understand why this is very important. It's an extremely unique feature. I have not seen it at a college football stadium before to have a public area that is completely climate controlled. Very nice. Enjoying the climate cool and comfort, which isn't a big deal on a 70 degree day. But imagine being here closer to Thanksgiving or early in the year. This is also the lobby to get to many of the suite levels here at Kyle Field, which there are several. So I would know exactly when, where, and how you to get to where I'm going and take the elevator up to your suite or club level. The stadium is about 100 feet high. So stairs, as many escalators are here, are just not an option. So continuing on our tour, keep, there are suites on the event level here. And the best concessions in the stands, big event pizzeria, Fletcher's Corn Dogs, which would be my pick if you're trying to get a true Texas experience. Something that's a rarity, something that you can't really get. Um, craft beer selections, as well as seltzer. And again, 
if you're looking for overall tips, the newest part of stadiums are typically the cleanest. Oh, this is one. We're making our way around and we'll tour the Texas A&M Hall of Fame eventually. But very, very nice stadium that um, delivers on all its On the visitor side of the stadium, there's actually a walk-on. It's quite fitting since most teams in the SEC have walk-ons in their towns in the south. We don't have these here in Texas. I think it's a great idea to have a local field. We don't have walk-ons in Texas for fans in Alabama, Louisiana, and Mississippi, where most of the SEC teams are located. Enjoy it. There's also a slot for fans. As you'll see here is the Ford Hall of Champions. It's probably the crown jewel of the renovated stadium. Thank you. 